Hello all lovely people out there, this is Kevin from CC Pipe where we focus on productivity and pipeline for creatives and today I wanted to give you a look at cross-references in InDesign and if you didn't know cross-references basically allows you to dynamically use text from elsewhere in your document uh, and on top of that it also creates a clickable link if you want to make an interactive PDF. And why is that helpful? Well, say for example, you want to reference a page using a page number, and it occurs a lot of times throughout your publication. Well, of course, they are easy to write down manually, but they don't always remain the same. So uh, potentially all you need is one little page moving and it can mess up everything. So why not make sure you don't have to go back and double check as soon as something changes? Right, and this is how we do it. We head over to InDesign, and uh, here I have my usual example document with uh, tons of placeholder texts, uh, some example articles, etc. And uh, in this byliner right here, there is a reference to another page, which I thought we could make into a dynamic cross-reference. So to do that, we'll remove this static text, and uh, then leave our cursor in here. And uh, next we either go to type and then hyperlinks and cross-references and uh, then insert cross-reference or we go to window and uh, type and tables and open the cross-reference panel. And uh, from here we then go to the options and uh, we click insert cross-reference. And uh, now we get this dialog and there are two ways of making cross-references here so let's just try both. First, we can use paragraphs and paragraph styles to identify what we want to reference. And for that, we need to select it up here. And uh, next, we find the correct style for what we want to find. And in this case, it's an entire article we want to reference. So the main heading will fit us perfectly here. And uh, when we've selected that, we all get the uh, paragraphs using this style. And uh, the one we are looking for is platforms in this case. Lastly, we decide what we want to be displayed and uh, that we do with this drop down here and uh, maybe we want the actual copy, we maybe want the page number or perhaps both and in this case I do want both of them and we can see that we get a preview in the text box as well and if we want to customize this further we can press the pen icon and I haven't looked into this that much but I assume you need to know the syntax for this to make something more custom but I don't really know that much about it. But the reason I went in here is that I didn't like the quotes around the text part. So you can see it here. And uh, I realized I can take it away by removing the quotes over here. So I'm just going to do that. And uh, then when we are happy with, with it, we press OK and it's done. We can now also see it in the cross reference panel window. And uh, this is now dynamically linked. So if the page moves, it will update. And we can just try that. I'll grab page number 10 and uh, we can move it somewhere. And uh, there we go. Now let's go back and we should see that it has changed and uh, that it has. Now that was one way, but the other way is using a text anchor. And if we undo our cross reference first and uh, then once again go to the insert cross reference, but uh, this time choose link to text anchor we see that there are no text anchors in this list here to use. So we need to create one. And uh, so I'm going to cancel out of here. And uh, then we want to find the hyperlinks panel under window. And there we go, interactive and uh, hyperlinks. And uh, next we need to place our cursor where we want our anchor. So I'll go down here to this heading uh, right here. And uh, then we place our cursor and now we can go to the hyperlinks panel and choose new hyperlink destination. And uh, here we want to choose text anchor. And it is a bit confusing that you go to the hyperlinks for this, but it doesn't, uh, it does make sense in a way since it's kind of a hyperlink, right? But then I'm just going to name it and uh, then we are done in here. Yet nothing seems to have happened and uh, there is nothing showing up here in this panel but that is because we've only set uh, a destination, so to speak, but not created an actual link to anything. So, however, if you want to see it or change or delete it, we can go to the options here and hyperlinks destination options, and uh, then it should be here in this list, which it is. And uh, that's all we need from the hyperlinks panel. So we can go back to our cross-reference 
and uh, now that we have our anchor. So we put the cursor where we want it and uh, then go to insert cross reference and link to text anchor. And now we should be able to find our anchor in this list here as well, and uh, which we do. So then we just choose how to display it as we did before. And uh, then we can just press okay. And that's it. The last thing I want to show is that if we now export this to an interactive PDF and uh, I'll just go to control E and uh, save this out. And uh, just a second, it should open automatically when it's done. And uh, we can now find that page. And uh, then when we find a cross reference, we can click on it and it will take us to that page. Pretty neat. Thank you so much for watching and uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. It helps me out a lot. And also if you have any productivity questions or suggestions for future videos, make sure to throw those in the comments below. Once again, thank you and until next time, have a good one.